In this video, I'm going to be explaining an extremely unnerving Trevor Henderson entity known as the Smile Room. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, just watch. That's all I got to say. Let's hop into it, shall we? In July of 2006, two teenagers disappeared in Ontario, Canada while exploring an abandoned bowling alley. The teens seemingly went into the building just to do what teens do, explore abandoned stuff, and they never came out. One of their friends came into that building after to look for them, and they found a phone with this picture on it. The photo shows a very strange looking room entrance with letters that say smile room, and there's teeth there as well. Upon a police investigation of that area and of that building, no such smile room was found. What I just read to you was the first known encounter with the Smile Room entity back in 2006. And since then, we've gotten much more information on the entity, what it looks like, where it's from, and all that. And I'm going to get into it right now. The Smile Room seems to be a giant wormhole parasite type entity. And the actual biology and appearance is very unnerving to say the least. It manifests itself as two grotesque rows of massive, dirty, crooked teeth, and they seem to be lodged into dark red gums. A clear, mucousy liquid drips down these gums and teeth, and it resembles saliva of some sort. Like I said, the entity is parasitic in nature, and it seems to be able to occupy abandoned buildings and old warehouses and mines and insane asylums and anything that is less traveled. It can take over one single room, it can take over a whole hallway, or it can take over an entire building. And because of this, the actual size and weight of the creature can't be determined since it can change. It has been confirmed that the Smile Room is some sort of wormhole or a black hole that consumes whatever walks inside of it and sends it somewhere else. Now, the destination of this black hole is unknown, but it's theorized that the mouth and the body of the Smile Room works as a sort of universal mouth for some unfathomably big space creature thing. Pretty much, the Smile Room is like a Bluetooth mouth for a giant entity that lives in our universe. Trevor Anderson himself described the entity as a man-eating wormhole between our universe and the mouth of an eldritch abomination from another reality. Which, yeah, I think that describes it pretty well, honestly. The behaviors. The exact behaviors of the Smile Room are unique. They seem to have the ability to turn humans into Smile Room hosts. Essentially, turning a human into this grotesque, fleshy gum creature with teeth inside of it. Now, what these fleshy gum creatures with teeth inside of it do is they try to lure other unsuspecting victims closer to the mouth of the Smile Room. Another behavior that the Smile Room possesses is that it seemingly can move and teleport whenever it wants to. As I said at the beginning, of the video, those two teens that went missing in search of this place, the cops came and there was no smile room there, even though they had a picture of it on their phone. And this pretty much confirms that the smile room can teleport. And because of this teleportation, it would make it almost impossible to study the entity because we're going to have no idea where it teleports to, of course. It also seems that the smile room typically eats teenagers or young people. Now this could just be because teenagers or young people are the typical ones that explore old and abandoned buildings, or it could just be the food it prefers. We're not sure. But it's very predatory in the way it hunts, because if you even get near its opening, it'll open up and bite you. Or if you're even in the same building, it'll send one of those fleshy zombie things towards you to lure you there. It seems to hate humans, and it wants to see them suffer. There's so much dark energy revolving around it. And remember how I said it was connected to some otherworldly behemoth creature in space? Well, yeah, this creature is thought to be very, very old, almost to the point of dying. And it's theorized that the reason it stays alive is because of its hatred for humans. Like, that's all that's keeping it alive. So it used the smile room to consume more humans. And that's the entire reason it hasn't decayed into the cosmos is because it hates humans. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. The abilities. So the Smile Room's abilities are mainly unknown, but we know that it can manifest in any room or any old or abandoned space, and we know it takes the size of the building it inhabits. 
We know it can make the parasitic hosts out of humans that go inside of it, and we know it can move from building to building in random parts of the world. And all of these abilities lead to us believing that whatever the mouth and the wormhole is connected to is very powerful. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what is inside of the smile room? You know, if you get past the teeth and the gums, what's actually in the room? Well, we can only guess because no one's going to actually voluntarily walk inside of a mouth, of course. But it's assumed that the room beyond the teeth is turned into like a fleshy mouth type place. If you walk inside, you feel like you're inside of a living creature. All the rooms and the hallways and everything it's taken over will feel like that as well. It'll be fleshy and wet. It also is said to smell very bad, and you can smell the decaying rot from another side of the building. It's also unknown how fast its prey, which is you, gets sent through the wormhole when you get beyond the teeth. You know, we don't know if there's a grace period or anything. All we know is that sometimes people go inside and they're never seen again. That's all I got for you. I also briefly mentioned that the smile room can seemingly make humans into parasitic helpers. And it's a really disgusting process because essentially the room can get that saliva stuff on you. And instead of throwing you back into its mouth, into the wormhole, it'll turn you into that gummy, fleshy, teethy creature over a process that's kind of like turning into a zombie, but it's just gum and tissue overtaking your body. The humans that are infected this way seem to be incapable of sentient thoughts, and they're solely able to do whatever the room tells them. Usually this means that they walk around the buildings and lure people closer to the mouth, and that's pretty much it. The parasitic humans seem to disappear when the smile room disappears as well, so they're definitely connected. As far as what in the world the smile room is actually connected to, we have no clue. I mentioned a few possibilities earlier of how it might be some giant space cosmos creature, but that's literally the only theory we have. We don't really have any understanding of black holes, so we have no idea how to track where people go or send like a drone inside. We don't know how it works. Now, as a side note, some of the comments on the fandom page about the Smile Room are actually hilarious. He needs to brush his teeth. The last thing a McDonald's fry sees. I mean, that's pretty funny, man. Just wanted to mention that, though. Anyways, the Smile Room is an extremely popular entity in the Trevor Henderson lore, and it's found itself into many Roblox games and other horror games, and it's centered itself in the Liminal Space fandom, too, because of its nature staying in abandoned buildings. It's already scary enough being in these empty, abandoned places, but what happens when these places turn carnivorous and eat the inhabitants that search them? Pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you just enjoyed that explanation of the Smile Room. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want more Trevor Henderson entity explanations and other creatures of the internet, leave a like as well. Let me know what I should cover. And with all that said, I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace!